Hey everyone, it's Shayrock, and today I've got a really cool tutorial for you. We're building a multi-floor elevator up and down using water streams. Now, this is everything that we'll need to get started. All of this is going to be what we need for the actual elevator shaft. Let's go ahead and grab that. And this is what you'll need for each floor for the up and down motion. Now that we've got all this stuff, let's start building the actual elevator part of this. So you're going to start with a couple of truck doors, just like that, and that's going to be your entrance. And to build this just single, uh, like standalone, you just want to come up. I'm going to build mine 10 tall. So there was 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. And then just come right back down. And do that on all four sides, except... Of course, those you'll do those a little differently so you can get up through there. I'm going to build this up 10 and be right back. So one thing I forgot to mention is once you get to the very top of your last side, it's like right here, I'm at the top of the front side, which was the last one I placed. Make sure you have a solid block with you. So that way you can place it one beneath. And this is where you're going to place your water and then break that block. Now you can come all the way back down. And... I think I'm going to choose to let this be my up elevator. So I'm going to come over here and grab some soul sand and go ahead and put that in. Now it's not going to take you up just yet because this entire column is not a water source. We'll do that at the very end uh, to make all of these water sources. But for right now, I want to be able to move up and down this if I need to. Next, I'm going to come right next to it. Uh, I'm going to skip a couple of blocks and I'm going to build my down elevator. And we'll want to do the same thing that we did over here. Uh, since I don't have that uh, warped wood block, I'm just going to use soul sand this time. And that's going to be our water source. Break that block, and it's going to go down to the bottom. And since this one's going to be our down elevator, we can grab a magma block, but since I don't want to get hurt while I'm working on this, I'll put that in last. Now, your entrances are almost done. Now we need to work on the halfway point that takes you up to the next floor. So, uh, by the dimensions I've built this, each floor is 10 blocks high, but it doesn't have to be. You can make it 4 blocks high, 18 blocks high. However high you want to make it. Now, let's come back down here and grab the stuff that we'll need for each of the floors. Now that I'm up here, I'm going to go ahead and build my floor out. Now I'm going to come up here and actually, I think instead of 10, I'm going to make this to be 8 floor, eight blocks tall. So I'm going to go ahead and put my floor blocks in. And these are going to be my doors, so let's go ahead and change the orientation of them. Next, what you want to do is grab a note block and right on that side so if you're on the floor level you should be looking straight at it and you'll come around to the back and base an observer into that have three blocks coming off from that observer and go ahead and build five blocks out on with two wide just like this and actually, you're going to be taking a couple of these out. So you'll take that block and that one out. And you're going to put a sticky piston right there with a piece of soul sand right in front of it. Next, you'll come around back and place two redstone dust there, two there, and one there. We'll put a building block right there and come back with your repeater and put this on four ticks. And then come back with two of your comparators. Place one going into that solid block and the other one the opposite way facing that way. That's going to create just a simple redstone pulse extender. So now if we hit this note block, that will detect it and send it to the pulse extender, which will extend that piston. And it does. If your floors are a little longer and you find that you're not making it all the way up, all you have to do is come in and extend this pulse extender out of just a little 
and it'll keep it activated for that much longer. But since this is our upside, we need to do the same thing on the downside, except we need to reverse it, kind of. So it starts the same way. We'll come over here and we'll come over here and have a note block with an observer facing into it, pointing out the back. Next, we come out this side. And this time, instead of just going three across, we're going to come four out with one up like that and two across right there. And we're also going to have our sticky piston just like we did before, except this time we want it to always be extended until we activate it. So go ahead and place it there and put a magma block in front of it. Then I forgot a redstone torch. We'll need this to invert the signal. So break that block. And whenever this is not powered, that's going to be extended, which will pull you down until you tell it not to. So now let's wire up the sensor for this. And it's exactly the same with a little bit of difference. So instead of right here, we take our pulse extender down. This time, we're going to have it be on the same level. So do this, start it the same way. Put your redstone repeater there with four ticks. But right in front of it, put your comparator with another one pointing back. Building block there, redstone there and there. Need to bring this out one more and bring that line over. Now, when we hit this, it should retract that, which will allow us to fall down to the next level. So, now that you see how this works, I'm going to go ahead and build up just a little bit more. And you can see how this takes you from all the way to the bottom, to the mid-level, and on up to the top, both ways. So, I went ahead and built up. All the way to the top this is just three levels you can see the bottom middle and the top floor so now i'm going to go ahead and do the same thing with the water we did before i'm going to add in oh, not there there and there and go ahead and put some water in if i can actually hit it there we go and take that block out so what we'll have to do is remove this block for a moment you can do this however you want. Since I'm in creative, it's not going to make a difference to me, but you can have like a ladder going up to your floor until you get this working. But you will need to make the whole column a water source and then break the water source whenever, wherever you have your soul sand. So I'm going to show you what that looks like. So down here at the bottom, we have flowing water all the way up. So if I put kelp down and bone meal it all the way up and then break it it'll turn the entire column into a water source do the same thing over here and that that'll go all the way up since we broke that magma block now i can come in here replace that one this one will take me all the way to the top but i don't want it to yet so i want to come in here activate that and i want to come in here and Add that in, and you're done. You have built one complete module of your multi-floor elevator. So now let's see it in action. So I'm going to come over here to the upside, walk straight in, and it stops right on the floor that I want. But if I want to go up to the top floor, hit that note block and walk in, right up to the top. So now let's look at the down elevator. I stand in here, brings me right down here. Of course, you have to. You need to shift to make sure you don't take any damage. Uh, if I want to go down to the next floor, hit that. Come in. I didn't quite hit it in time. There we go. And you can make this as custom as you want. So I've got these, you know, a couple of blocks apart, uh, but they absolutely don't have to be. So let's go look at a couple of different ways you can do this. So I've got one over here that is right next to each other. So if I walk in here. And come right up here to the top. Come right on up to the next floor. This is the same, uh, just three floor design. Come right back down in the same water column. So if you really want to save space, 
you can use something like this. Or you can have it completely separated out. I'll show this to you with um, a whole lot more floors. I've got this office building, just a quick office building mock-up built over here. So if we come in here, we can see that is the downside, and you can label these however you want. And here's the up. So if I walk in here, went to this floor. Now let's say I want to go to the next floor. Hit that note block. And here I am. Now if I want to go all the way to the top, just stand in here. Keep hitting the note blocks until I get all the way to the roof. Let's fix that hole. And then obviously you can come right back down the downside at any point. So now, oh, I need to go back up to the other floor. Well, here I am. And if you want to go all the way down, you really don't even have to hold shift. If you time it just right, it pulls you down and then once you get to the bottom. And as far as how easy it is to conceal, I covered one of them up, but I purposely left the others open just so you could see. Uh, it's really not that hard to work into a build. Just sticks out a couple of blocks from depending on what your original wall is. So you can see kind of the footprint of it from here uh, behind the scenes. So yeah, it's really not that obtrusive. It's very customizable. Put it wherever you want, however you want it, right next to each other, a little bit apart. Uh, you can really do anything you want with this. But that's all I've got for you today. If you liked it, make sure you click that thumbs up down below. If you use this in your world, let me know in the comments. And if you want to see more stuff like this, make sure to hit that subscribe button. Thanks so much. See ya.